Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to A Clash of Kings. This is the mod, the Game of Thrones mod for Mountain Blade Warband. Um, and I've been playing it f uh, by myself for a couple of days, actually about a week now. So, and I thought it's a re it's, it is a genuinely great mod. It is like a complete overhaul and it does so many great things. Um, and so I thought I'd do a let's play of it. So this is my first episode and we're going to start a new game here. Um, and I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with with this. Um, and this is the if this is just stalk backstory to Game of Thrones. So basically what it's saying here is the king has been killed by a bear. Oh no, the the hand who is Eddard Stark, um, who is basically this left ha le lieutenant, lieutenant of the uh, the king, is now trying to usurp the throne. Um, so he's trying to take it for himself, and there's a lot of tension in the world. Which is basically it. And now, now we're going to choose our character. We're going to be male. We're going to be a a landed knight. With we're going to be very noble. Um, a a noble in training. Later, you became a a, a singer. <laughs> no, a uh, oh, hmm, it's nothing much. That, that's really good. A student at the Citadel, and we are out for. Why are we going to be fighting? A sense of duty, personal revenge, the loss of a loved one, wanderlust, religious favour, being forced out of your home, and lust for money and power. I think we're going to be forced out of our home. So that basically affects our story and how we were, um, uh, how, what skills we start off with. So, uh, yeah, so that's basically our backstory there if you want to read that, which I might do later. So I'm just going to do this. And slowly scroll down if you want to read it you can pause the video okay <clears throat> now we want it realistic no quitting without saving uh, we don't want a tutorial we're going to name ourselves Matthias uh, um, 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 Fengard. Matthias Fengard. Right, and now this is our skill tree thing, basically. We're going to go in straight in for first aid and iron flesh. Iron flesh gives us uh, increased hit points by two, it's personal skill. Attributes, we want uh, strength, we want agility. We want to up that a bit actually because it's very low um, we want to be able to power strike a bit uh, pathfinding is a very good one to have soon tracking a trainer uh, foraging all very useful oh we want prisoner management as well and trade uh, we'll just go with trying to up everything as much as we can one-handed weapons we're going to increase quite a lot archery quite a lot and possibly pole arms um, so Matthew Svengard is quite a good all-round person uh, particularly good with one-handed weapons now Matthew Svengard is going to have oh gosh that's scary that's that's nice uh, we want do we want a beard these quite Nord like uh, north like beards I'm thinking I don't... Oh, nice mutton chops. Nice. Uh, that's just going to be very young. Hair colour. Hair colour. Oh, that's a nice variant. Uh, we want to change our hair quite a bit. I think I'm going to go with the one I had on my other guy. Which was... Oh. Mm, yeah, we'll stick with that. Face width. Make it quite... Yeah, we'll just whack these out of kilter a bit, so we're not all nice. Oh gosh, what did I just do? Eye width, come back. Nose. 
Uh, yeah, I don't really. If it's if it's uh, not clear to you, I don't care for what I look like because you hardly ever see your face in this game anyway. It's kind of like. Uh, uh, do, do you think he kind of? No, no, he's got quite a wide face. I can actually make that th his face a bit thinner, and he probably looks something like Syndicate, kind of similar. Yeah, I've probably offended him. I'm sorry. Done. Uh, you join a merchant and his family, travelling towards Storm's End. Green shoots of wheat, barley and oats are all across the dark soil. Please stop messaging me, phone, thank you. Uh, dark soil of rolling hills on the lower slopes of the snow-caped mountains, herds of cattle, aurochs and sheep are grazing on the summer grass. Occasionally, too, you catch sight of one of the great horses that are the pride of the nobility. Lands here... The land here is rich, but also troubled. The occasional burnt-out farm bears witness. Testament to the chaos of Tyrell host cause, caused when it marched through 16 years earlier. You keep a wide berth of forests and where desperate men have taken refuge. While passing the, by the burned ruins of Summerhall, the merchant declares that he's changed his mind, wanting to take his wares to Weeping Tower instead. Having heard the Lycini galleys docking at a nearby harbour. Oh gosh. Following the trek through Rainwood, you finally see the town of Weeping Tower in the distance. You're exhausted, but at the time they find the inn, you go in search of a distant tavern. According to the blind old man, an old blind man, in the corner, drinking a mug of stale ale, a kraken has been seen off the coast of Dawn, and five-headed calf has been born, killing its mother in the process. Surely an omen can be taken seriously. Dismissing the old fool as crazy, you venture into the streets which are still deserted. All of a sudden you hear the sound that stands hairs on the back of your neck, the rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. So basically, we went to a town and we've been jumped, which is the start of every Mountain Blade game. Where's this fool? I've got my rusty blade. I've got my rocks. Let's throw some rocks at this guy. Eh. 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 Oh, no. Get my sword. Huh. Swing. Uh, yes! Now let's go see the guy who comes around from this corner. Here he is. Oh, hello, dear sir. Are you going to give me a task? Osbert Clerk. Are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure. Ah, oh, screw it. I'm not, I'm not saying anything. Merchant takes you inside when society stands you at the door for a while, looking at the dawn, and then suddenly comes near you to speak. No, he didn't. I have to go towards him. Now, let me explain my proposition. You seem a little disorientated, and I do not know who you are or where you're from. And to tell you the truth, I don't care. It's just I'm just a simple merchant, and I've learned, if anything, it's that merchants are the first to suffer in hard times, so I'm planning to travel to another country. Peaceful and rainless, I hope. I have heard that the f that in the free cities, gold flows from watery fountains. So maybe I'll go try my fortunes in Pentos or Volantis. Anyway, I provide... Okay. Um, gonna hurt myself, take my advice. I can go across now and see until the new king has been crowned and eterned by the High Septon. The law and unity will remain a vulture's feasting table. So I say, seek your destiny elsewhere. Yep, very good. Very good. Gave me money, and now I leave. Here we go. So where are we? We are in the... For some reason, this map, I keep thinking, is upside down. Uh, this is, uh, there's sun's... Wait. Let me get my bearings. Right, there's Bravos. So we got to look. Where's the trident? There's the trident. Right, we're looking the right way now. Okay. Oh, sh phone... Um. Okay, okay, okay. So where were we again? I think we're somewhere around here. Weeping Tower. That's where we are. Now we've got our factions. We've got the Westerlands, which is red, um, mainly headed by the Lannisters. We have the country that we are in, which is the Stormlands. 
I don't know too much about those guys. Uh, we've got Dragonstone, which is over here. Um, we've got the Reach. Is this the Reach? I think this is the Reach. The Veil. No. That's the Veil. Blue. Uh, we've got the North, which is the Whites. And there's the Wall. Um, and we've got the Riverlands, which are these kind of pinky purpley kind of colours. This is the Reach, which is green. Down here we have the Dawn. And all the way over the Narrow Sea, we have the, uh, the, the countries that I really don't know nor care about because I'm not going there. Because so I'm going to be fighting in these places. The Isle of Faces. Ooh, nice. Right. Well. This is the question. Who do we fight for? Do we fight for our independence? Or do we fight for a country? I am, in my other thing, fighting for the Starks. And that's actually proving to be quite interesting. Uh, and I think I'm going to do that again because uh, I hate everyone else. The only people I would fight for are possibly the Reach or the Vale. No, not the Vale. The Reach. Might fight for the Reach. Don't know. But anyway, where are we? Let's. You're now viewing the Overland map. I know. Okay. So here's our little guy. Oh, I've been awarded the right to carry a banner. Your banner will signify your status uh, and bring honour along with showing the mark of your house. Which banner do we want to choose? Let's see. Hmm. So some of these actually follow the some factions. So like here, this would be a Baratheon kind of um, flag because Baratheons are, are kind of like that. Yeah. This is a Lannister because it's got a lion. Um, that's a Targaryen. I might actually go with the Targaryen. Yeah, let's go with the Targaryen. We're going to fight as the Targaryens because, yeah, Matthew's finger managed to afford four units of food to complement the supplies. Oh wow! Okay, so that actually is very good, and I'm managing to forage food. What we're going to do is recruit a few peasants from the local villages and try to forge our way through inventory. 690 coins. We have some stones. We don't want stones. Diary. Um, got some cabbages. Rusty sword. Okay, so we've got some very kind of shoddy units here. Um, and we have our Stormlands Levy. That actually is pretty a good unit for like starter because usually they come with like clubs and crap what we're gonna do in this is I think we're gonna try to be friendly with the Starks up in the north we'll go over to Borrow Hall uh, and we will fight alongside those guys uh, until I can kind of seize an opportunity possibly to either to take the throne or to um, get the Starks on the throne themselves. I don't know. It depends how this all goes. If they reward me a lot for my brave and wonderful service that I provide by taking many settlements for them. Oh crap, I thought those looters were going to attack us in the end, but it's fine. Recruit some peasants. Ah, oh, you're not going to let me. Okay, right, let's go to Woodsway. So we're we're on the Isle of Westeros. This actually takes uh, takes place in the second season slash book, which is why it's called Clash of Kings because the second book is called Clash of Kings. Um, so all the events of the first have already happened. Yeah, have already happened. Did I not recruit anyone then? I don't think I did. Uh, let's go to Rosemere. One second, I've just got to look out my window, because I, I should explain why no videos have been uploaded, no recent videos have been uploaded. A lot of my videos lately have been Minecraft and UHC. That's because I've had a lot of work done on my house lately. I've had uh, entirely new windows fitted so that I can, I can have my, like, it, yeah. And because of that, they've been here all day. Uh, fitting these windows. I have not been able to record because of course I 
I don't uh, I don't like noise in my videos hence why I don't like my computer so much wow really am I still on six people yeah I am uh, Woodrock <sighs> oh no go to Silvercrest Silvercrest first um, so yeah had a lot of work done on my house and the local area as well, my road, they've been very noisy. So I haven't been able to record. So, yeah. This is the first opportunity I've I've had. Uh, granted, I, they are still fitting the windows, but they've actually just left to get my new front door. Um, so I've got about an hour and a half whilst they drive somewhere to go and fetch it. Uh, and, until, oh, there's Lord Tywin Lannister. Wow, okay. Tywin Lannister is the head of the Lannister household. Uh, he's the eldest. He is actually the father to Cersei, Jaime, and Tyrion Lannister, who are the children of. Uh, well, Cersei and Jaime are, par are brother and sister, and also parents to. Uh, what's his name? The king. What was the other king that's in season three? Oh, wow. This is bad. I've forgotten his name. Wow, can't believe I did that. Hmm. Anyway, that doesn't really matter. Yeah, so, so I'm I'm hoping to do a bit of recording with this. Um, the remains of Harren Town. Okay. Recruit peasants. Yay, three. Nice. Let's go over to the ruin. The remains of Harren Town. These places usually have like companions or other kind of quest lines to go along. Enter the remains. But it's really foggy. Uh, oh. Music will play. There's someone. Hello, kind sir. Cutjack. Hey, Cutjack. What do you want? I don't want to go in here. Oh no, there are people locked up. Lommy green hands. Oh man, sorry if this music is loud. See, music, but that I don't know why this plays. There's a small boy, Racine. What? Oh, that's nice. These people are so lovely. Can I set anyone free from these cages? Hello, kind sir. Who are you? Uh, biter. Oh, did I not get to talk to Biter properly? Hiss. Oh, he just hisses at me. Fuck off. Or, oh, gosh. So, yeah, this is going to be quite a adult kind of gameplay here. Call. But it's called up no. Wow. There's no one... Screw this then. Leave. <sighs> no one was nice to me, so I've left. Let's go to Plowman's Hill. And we w we're entering kind of the northern lands. These are still the westerlands, but... Oh no. Raiders. Recruit peasants. Oh no. We're probably about to get a... Yep, they're about to attack me, so I should probably run to Brindlewood. 6.6, 6.1. Okay, the first battle of the raids. We will fight you to the end. Yeah, I have Stormlands Levy and Westlands Levy, and I will bring them all with me. Ready the troops. Reassess the situation. Plan your battle. Hold position. Follow me, sorry. Follow me. Uh, in Shield Wall. Prepare and dispatch. Enough piling to battle! Let us go to battle! We're probably gonna get slaughtered here. Have, where, where are you going? Oh wow, these guys actually have some really good good stuff for like a starter unit. Right, I'm gonna hide behind the guy with the spear, because he's gonna spear the cavalry. Because <sighs> we're just about to get slaughtered here, because... Hold your positions, men! Look at this guy with his damn spear. Come at me! Try me! Oh gosh, he just killed him! 
Oh, there's a guy come off his horse. Is that my horse? You just killed my horse, you damn fool. Kill your horse instead. Kill this man. Kill him. Stab. Oh, I should probably put the sound back on. Yeah, battle noises. Oh, I'm taking damage. Stop it. Why won't you die? Gosh, these guys are tough. I'm going down. If I dismount them, if I get them off their horses. Oh, gosh. I thought I was dead. Oh, they have archers. Oh, hey, archer. Oh, gosh, I don't have a shield anymore. Ah! Damn it, I'm dead. <laughs> Such fail. Uh, let's move around a little bit. Oh, I could retreat. Hmm, this isn't going too well, so I'm going to retreat. Three killed, five wounded. Uh, you have three troops against this. Surrender. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it. I've been taken prisoner. I've lost my army. Ah, fudge. They're just going to take me on a long... F oh, my God. They've taken me so far away. Run. I'm leaving. Screw you all. I'm going back to Plowman's Hill. I will enlist in the friggin' army of... No, I'm not going to enlist in anyone else's armies. Oh, shh, tits. Press the wrong button. Leave. Let's go to Brindlewood. Yeah. That, that's going to happen quite a lot, I think, so far. Um, we're going to get attacked a lot. We're going to lose a lot of people. Which is a shame. Recruit the peasants. Recruit them. Leave. Uh, next is Ashtree. We'll go there. Get some Riverlands people. Sir Edwin Frey of the Riverlands has been taken prisoner by the Westerlands. Oh. So the Riverlands and the Westerlands are at war. Interesting. Interesting. It's another recruit presence. Right, got five more. And we're back on our feet. <laughs> uh, I could go and try and recruit a few, like, really experienced people from, like, River Run and bigger castles. Because you can get uh, experienced units from them. Um, but I don't have that many coins. Because won't lie, in my other campaign that I'm playing, I'm using all the cheats just to see what I can do. Um, yeah, there are very easy cheats in this. And I'm refraining from using them because I'm a terrible person. Oh, crap. Yes. Lead your trips. Right. Let's see what the the Riverlands have. One, F2. Oh, the Spearmen. Fantastic. They're going to be Cav. Cav coming at me. Oh, I have some pretty crappy stuff. Uh, let's hold this position. F1. Hold this position. So, you guys can go there with your big pointy sticks. And when they come, I might actually just get on my horse. Just to be able to move a little faster. This guy's just going to drop. Oh, crap. There we go. Damn it. Come back here. Come back here. Oh, crap. I'm going to get poked with a stick. Yeah. Come on. Uh, okay, we've actually killed one, of, we've not killed one of those guys. Yeah. Taking down horses. And so with these battles, my men will level up after them, um, meaning that they will be... Oh, gosh. Uh, F103, charge. So you are to chase down as many people as you possibly can. Uh, and I will... Have I got a wooden sword? Oh, gosh, i got to get out of here. Otherwise, my horse is going down. 
Horse received 10 damage. Did not deal a single point of damage. That sucks. This guy. This guy. Yeah! Nope. Delivered. One, zero damage. Wow, that was great. Yeah! 11! Oh, don't hurt my horse. It's mean. Yes! Go team! Woo! Go team! Right, let me leave the battle, please. There we go. Battle is won. Lost two men. Right. Uh, I would like a lance. I would like some... Let's get rid of my peasant's tunic. Get a ragged tunic. Uh, round wooden shield, round wooden shield. I probably I could sell those horses. Turn. I don't really care though. Um, party is ready for some upgrades. So we've got now got seven Riverlands pikemen, which mean they have some kind of armor. Uh, my party as well is going to have some money now. Weekly cost of twenty one, which I can deal with fine. Now we should probably move. Let's go to Septry. I've never seen that before. Never been there. And I'm really loving this being able to forage stuff thing. That's pretty cool. Um, never been able to do that before. Lord Selmond, who? Don't know. Didn't get a chance to see. Wow, that is really not well defended. It only has 48 people. Oh, I could probably uh, take that with not my eight. No. We need to go get some. Hmm, I don't know. Who should we? We'll just go here. We'll see what's going on here, and we'll play the play and see. There's probably a person here, like uh, a a religious folk. Enter the septic courtyard. There is a religious man over there. Is this a crazy religious man? Who will probably join me on my quest. Brother Bert. Hello, Brother Bert. Can I help you? Who's in charge here? That would be Elder Brother. Good. Well, it seems rather futile me looking around here, so I shall leave. Okay. Well, that was a very boring part. Let's go to the Seven Arms. Oh, the seven streams. I read that so poorly. Thanks. Thanks. I know. I'm amazing. Okay, we, we're now up to 16? 14. Oh. Right, we're now across in. Which means uh, that's, that's actually kind of important. Right, we will make our way to Pike Market. No, we'll just go straight up to Queen's Stop and then up to uh, Winterfell. Because that's the seat of Rob Stark, who we will... Uh, I don't know if we should pledge our alliance allegiance to him, but I think we should just be friendly towards them. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know if there's a way of, of pledging yourself as a vassal and then retreating, taking that back at a later time. Are they taking after me? These broken men? Elite Riverlands Pikemen. Don't really want to fight with them. As I only have veteran Riverlands Pikemen and some other pikes. So here Moat Kaleen is held by Rob Stark. Uh, and then all the way over here you can just see Winterfell. And we've just got some units of food. Which is great. What's this? Oh. Yep. Lead your troops, and I will set the. I'll set the f bloody things. Uh, hold this position, please. Right, we are purely pikes, and these men are on foot. I know that much, and now I have a pike as well. Wait, can I throw it? I don't know what that blob means. So these are my veterans here, and those are my Riverlands. Um, 
my, my normal Rivlands. Ooh, just ginger. That's really weird. I thought the people of the Reach. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, it is the Rivlands people. Right, let's go see if we can do some harassment. Unless these are pikemen, then I won't bother getting into any kind of battle with them. Are they pikes? You're definitely not. That was terrible. They all have goats on their heads. I'm going to run away now. I'm going to tell my men to charge because all of these people are freaking archers. Come in and... Stab it! Oh, damn it. I'm not very good at this. With the whole, like, you know, hitting people with spears thing. Yeah! Damaging! This guy. Ah. Yes! Getting good. Rivel oh, no. Rivelin's pikeman was killed. Oh, crap. Oh, Jesus. That was a good shot. Where did that land? In my shoulder? Yeah, in my shoulder. Ow, again! Bastard. Two. I'm just like, oh, I really don't care. <sighs> Let me leave. Thank you. Oh, uh, bows. I'd like a bow. Uh, boat spear. Ragnar What's that? Six body armor. I will take that. Do I really want a goat helmet? No. No, I don't. I really don't want a goat helmet. Uh, what's that? Is that that's a cracked bow? It's really annoying. Uh, leather gloves, some booties, and my straw hat. I got me a straw hat. <laughs> oh, I just got a symbol. Soldiers are ready to upgrade. Ah ha ha! Let's get some archers. Four archers and a few elite pikes. Oh, yes! Making an army! And my character is up. Upgradable. Let's get some strength. Some of that. Yep, we'll do that. Uh, let's see if is Lord Stark here, uh, King Stark here? No. Right, we're going to Queen. Stop then. Woo! Oh, who's that? Who's that? Eh, not the king anyway. Yes, peasants. Can I buy some supplies? I know this is the trade screen. I am aware. Let's get some rabbit. Some chicken. Yeah, that'll do for right now. Um, if we go and find Rob Stark, we'll do a few quests for him. He should give us some money, hopefully, for that. Because uh, I'm just going to check. Right, I'm, I'm a bit low on money. But I've got enough to pay this week's wage anyway. Um, which is fine. It's fine by me. As long as I can do that. Um, and if we get a, a fife or whatever off the king, if we. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for vassalage. We'll do some vassalaging, I think. Uh, we'll do a few quests first for the king, and we'll see where that takes us. So in our party now, we have a few northern levy. Really don't know what that means. Um, do you want to make let's make these guys into the group of what's my guy's name again I can't remember F Fenguard these men will be in the Fenguard the group of Fenguard which will be pure elite Riverlands Pike who will be by my side in battle to all times Lord Giles Rosby Riverlands Okay, so the Riverlands and the Westerlands are at war, from what I gather. If any location has been taken, Pink Maiden. I don't remember that being a... I'm not sure if it was. Could have been, because it's on a river, so... Never know, never know. Not too, uh... Oh, oh no, that's not the king. Rob Stark's party. Go, go. He's in the castle. Approach the gates and hail the guard. Request a meeting with someone. King Rob Stark. Yay, he's come to speak to me. I am Matthias Fengard. Hello. But I do not recognize the device. 
I doubt that you've come to our realm in such a wealth and glory. If this is indeed the case, I only ask that you show mercy to those poor souls caught in the path of war. What is it? I wish to ask for tasks. I intend to buy White Harbor. Uh, yeah, let's go to White Harbor then. Oh, I thought my game had frozen then. Right, White Harbor is south? Yeah, White Harbor's there. White Harbor, let's go. And we will deliver that. Maybe get caught in a few battles along the way. Uh, and see how that works out for us. Oh, you're traveling through a forest when you suddenly spot a lot of mushrooms covered with blue and red spots. What do you do? I will pick them up and eat them. Mushrooms are really tasty. Great, they're probably going to kill me too. Who's that? Lord Mia Sewing. Patrolling around Sewing Castle. Man, that is, that is good. I like that a lot. Okay, so we're going to... Have we been to Crow's Rest? I think we were just there. Um, we'll probably cross either the bridge or here. Um, okay, where are we? There we are. Hello, my little army. Band of merry men. Oh, gosh, there's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of battles. Pink Maiden has been sieged by the Westerlands. That's quite... In so, Pink Maiden here is under siege. <gasps> Terrible things have happened. Where am I? Oh, I'm already here. Let's see. Go to the castle. Uh, let's see, are you the man I'm looking for? I am anything, uh... I bring a message from Rob Stark. Do you have any tasks for me? I must beg my leave. Milady. Master Seymour. Sir Barham. Who are you? Goodbye, I don't really care for you. Could recruit a couple of volunteers. I don't have enough money. Leave. <sighs> White Harbor Patrol. Hmm, interesting. So now we've got to go back to Winterfell to find the king to tell him that we've done that. Uh, so we can claim our cash as well. Let's just sail across here. In a rather pointless way. <laughs> Current forces morale is 98. Right, it's climbing back up then. Which is nice because we had that battle that we lost and it was terrible. And everything's really sad. Oh gosh, yawn. Yawn. Right. Let's see if we can find some people to fight as well. I want to get my northern levy up a few levels. Come on. Find me some peasants or bandits or whatever they're called so I can destroy them in battle. These are tracks. Indeed they are. Where could we go? This will get more interesting, hopefully. <laughs> uh, I hope to make this more interesting because there will be wars breaking out very shortly. Um, and more interesting stuff to come because I'll be gathering forces. Ban wildlings, come here, you buggers. Yes! Uh, plan your battle. Infantry, hold. The Fenguard are to follow me. The archers are to hold back, back. Uh, prepare and dispatch. Enough planning, time to battle. So hopefully everyone should do as they're told now. I don't know who's coming with me in this battle. Hopefully we've got a bit of everything. And it would seem so. Uh, we're on a bit of a hill. Not a good start. Um, infantry. Infantry. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, uh, fun. Uh, 
archers, and then my pikemen. Oh shit! Uh, this isn't going to go too well because my men are now going to get stabbed with pikes. Delivered 51 damage to that particular horse. All right, fight. Are my men shooting? Yeah, they are. Okay, that's good. Kill this man. Right, there are archers on their way. Everyone, hear me. F1, F3. So, charge. And I will charge too. With my straw hat. Of awesome. Whoops. My horse just received a little bit of damage. Yeah, shoot me. Try it. Try and shoot me. Damn it, I missed him. Oh, was that my... Ah! Oh, why would you do that? Let me, let me kill this man. I would like your armor, good sir. Let me has your armor. Yeah! Did I kill him? No, I didn't. I didn't kill that last guy. Okay, we lost two guys. No problem. Whoa, what the hell is that? It's a war mace. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Oh, arrows. Arrows I need. Uh, so now I can actually wield a bow. Oh. No, I don't. Requires power draw one. Okay. Whoops. Return. What money do we get? 256. That's nice. And now we will go and see the king. Is he not here? He better be here. Quest meeting with Rob Stark. What is it? I... Oh. Does he already... Oh, okay. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> right, uh, let's see how much cash we have. 600 exactly. Our party. We can upgrade all of these. One. Riverlands. What do you... Oh, okay. Ooh. We can... Get a few pikes. He's a very good archer. Well... Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Uh, yeah, also, just leave a like on this if you really enjoyed this episode, because it helps me a lot just to let me know if you want this series to continue. Uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.